other two this video we will learn about the techniques to work with the dead point data set such as crime incident and we will try to explore the temporal dimension on those data set and see how the earth hotspot changes from month to month and for this exercise we are going to take the bicycle uh, theft location data set of the greater london and the source of this data set has been provided in the link description below as you can see that this data is actually CSV format. So we will try to open this data set into the QGIS. Uh, in the present tutorial, we are using the QGIS, uh, the latest version. That means we can check the version over here. That means 3.32. So we will open the data set. So we'll go to the add layer, add delimited text layer. And this is our data set. As you can see, this is a, a CSV format. So we will try to click on CSV. Okay. Um, then afterwards, uh, we know that, that this data set contains the latitude and longitude. Okay. So latitude is with the name, I had a name latitude and longitude with the longitude. So we will click on this point coordinate and we will provide x field as longitude and y field as latitude and we will check that the geometry crs uh, that is coordinate reference system should be 4326 if it is not there then you can search it over here 4326 and we'll click ok and add now we can see that lots of point uh, point data set has been added to our, our screen uh, we can uh, overlay any map uh, either OpenStreet or Google Map in the background. So for this purpose, I'm using HCMGIS plugin and using the base map of uh, Google Map. So uh, first of all, we will convert the projection system of this data set point. So for that purpose, we'll go to the processing toolbox and we will go to the reproject. It, uh, we are going to go to the ge vector general and use this reproject layer and select this uh, London bicycle theft data set and the target CRS will be the local uh, coordinate surface system. Uh, so for that purpose, we are going to use 27700 that is British National Grid. We'll click run. Now uh, the layer with the name reprojected is our uh, projected layer. Now, uh, the project coordinate system is still EPSG 4326. Either we can change it from here or we will just simply go to this and right click over this and select select set project CRS layer from layer. And we'll click OK. Now we can see that um, the projection system of the project and uh, layer have been changed. Now we can see that uh, some of the points are actually overlapped so in order to visualize the data set properly, uh, we will go to this uh, reprojected layer, right click over this, click on properties and this layer styling panel will be open up. We'll go to the symbology and, and uh, we will change the single symbology to the point cluster and click apply. Okay. Now you can see that number of points are there and each point uh, or each point it has been written a number and if we zoom it to a certain point like for example this is the 12 and if it zoom into it, so that number will reduce so this number indicates that how many points are overlapping to that point for example this is written as five so that means five cluster points are over there so for so local visualization it is a very good thing uh, it is a very good method to use this uh, math, uh visualization process but in order to create the heat map we will go again to the uh, layer sign column and we will just select this heat map and after this uh, we can give the value as 500 map units and we will change the color for example like red okay now you can see that uh, there is a cluster map has been prepared 
what and I think that we can do if we can change the opacity of this or the transparency of this layer uh, we will go to the uh, opacity and we will reduce from 100% to 75% now you can see that you can easily visualize the hotspot area into the London town so these are some hotspot area uh, for the total uh, map density now uh, our purpose is to create the hotspot for different specific month to, in order to create a timeline of a map so in order to create the timeline we should have a uh, attribute table uh, or the column in which the date should be written in a specific date ddmm yyx format okay so we can see that a column is there with specify the month uh, that means uh, 01 or 2019 and if we just go down and let's see that it is the data set for 2019 only and from January to 12th so <laughs> uh, we will create a, a column which is specified dates in order to do that we will click uh, in over this open field calculator we will create a new field called as month and they will give a text string okay and in this we will apply a expression and the expression will be substring it's and we need to substring this particular uh, text and and we need to extract only this last two elements or last two uh, words so what we can do we'll just go to the field and select this month and we open the bracket over here and we'll apply 6 comma 2 and bracket close now you can see that 0 1 is overwritten over here and why it is so so uh, what is actually doing that it will uh, extract this month uh, line and it will select the first six element and extract the uh, that means divide the uh, this thing into two parts uh, from the sixth element and it will take the last two element for that and we will click OK and now we can see that uh, at the end of this attribute table a separate column has been created with the uh, month displaying over that now in order to create a date uh, we will again go to this uh, open field calculator and create a uh, create new field and this time we will provide date and this time it should be data type as date okay uh, so uh, this is actually a monthly data set so we can specify any specific date so for that purpose we will provide a function at make date and in make date first uh, entry should be year second month and last date so we know that all the data set is of 2019 so we will provide 2019 comma month and month is nothing but the month column so we will go to the fields double click over there is last month and we can specify any single date for example uh, we can assume that all of this data set has been taken from 15th of every month and we will close this now we can say that uh, see that in a preview our uh, date has been listed uh, like this we will just click ok and we will open again the attribute table and we can see that and separate column has been created with the date we will just save this and do the now in order to create the temporal data set uh, we will just go right click over this reprojected and go to the property and if you go from the downwards you can see a separate uh, tab is temporal so uh, we will click on this dynamic temporal controller and we will select single field with a date and time we will select that and we will select the field name and in our case it is date and we will select apply and ok ok now afterward you can see that uh, icon of clock has been uh, are there that is temporal control panel so we will just select this so a separate panel has been added over my screen i'll just click over there now we just need to provide the date so we are going to provide 2019 
and the month will be 01 01 and here you're going to provide 2019 12th month and 30th date okay and the time step will be the month and now uh, if we just use this button play so now you can see this over uh, every month I'll just click loop now we can see that uh, for each and every month the data is changing and we can analyze that for a specific month which are the different crime hotspot of the bicycle theft now we can see that uh, just for an example that this particular area um, has a hotspot in the specifically in the month of uh, maybe January and December uh, but not around the total year uh, so another element that we can add over map is the name of that particular month so in order to do that I'll just pause this once so for that purpose we'll just go to the view go to the decorations and click on this title label and check this enable title label and go to this insert and edit expression and here we will provide the expression uh, suppose we are going to provide this format date in the bracket we will provide at the rate map start time and the format will be uh, in a bracket a small y y y y now you can see if I just close the bracket now the preview is showing 2019 and we want to add month after that so we'll just do this string contentation and repeat this particular line and this time we will provide mm and we want to add a hyphen over here so we will again use this and in the brackets we will provide hyphen now you can see this ad is showing 2019-00 that means the first month and we will click OK and we will click apply now we can see that uh, uh, month is added over here we can increase or decrease the size of the font we will just go to this and instead of 10 we will go to 20 and we instead of top center we will click on bottom center and click apply okay now you can see that a month is also written over here but we can see that it is uh, the map is changing but thing is uh, this date is not changing so we will just cross check this go to the view and go to the decoration title label we will just edit this and let's see what mistake that we have done okay so instead of small mm we should use capital mm now we can see this particular month is written apply okay and now we can see that uh, the month and the uh, date is also changing so uh, now uh, we are going to export this uh, map uh, as a 12 different images so in order to do that we will just click save over here and uh, we will provide a definite path for example crime hotspot we just select this folder and click the save now if we check the folder we can now see there are 12 uh, different images and all the images are reflecting the hotspot for different month and we can also create the GIFs of from this image from various tool if you just go to the Google and type online GIF creator you can all import all the images and create a beautiful GIF so uh, this is all uh, for this today's video uh, hope you like the video and in find this inform uh, video informative if so then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you